Hey everyone, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com. And I recently came to you with a video on physically how I make my videos, like what equipment and programs I use. And I have gotten a lot of feedback that that's great. And people have the equipment because it's super simple, but they have no idea what to say in their videos and they just feel like they don't have the confidence to use the video function and I'm going to tell you that videos are extremely important for your online business they say that one minute of video is worth 1.8 million words and that works well for me because I'm not a good writer but I also wasn't just good at these videos to begin with. And I'm still not great. Like I always have things I can improve on. I say I'm a lot. I say like a lot. And I'm working on that. And that's okay. I kind of just press play and hope for the best. But the most important thing that you can do with your videos is add value to people. So I'm going to give you my top five best tips on what you can talk about in your videos so that people will want to watch them. So the first thing that you can talk about in your videos or do in your videos is do a how-to video. You know, how to cook something, how to um, clean something, how you do your makeup, if you're a makeup person, how you do your hair, um, anything that is sort of like, a how-to video people are honestly really interested in if you're interested in health and fitness you know how to do the perfect sit up how to do the perfect squat how-to videos are great and will definitely bring people to your page because they want to know how to do things right that's I mean I go to YouTube a lot to learn how to do things if I don't know how to do things all the time videos are so helpful rather than like following a step-by-step that's my first thing that you can definitely do in a video. Uh, and make it something you're good at. Make it something people would be interested in. And sometimes it has nothing to do with your business and sometimes it does. So the second thing that you can do in a video is show your real life. So, um, you know, if you're going to the fair with your kids or you are, I don't know, cooking dinner or you are you know headed to date night with your husband something like that like sharing what you do in your real life you know press that live button and just be like this is what we're doing right now this is where we are people are interested in that people want to know what you're doing when you're doing it what you've been up to and if you don't feel like you can add value yet that's a great place to start just press the live button and sort of wing it for a little bit. Um, share your real life, share who you are. The next thing that you can go live about are um, tips and tricks. So if you have special tips on how to do something or you know, getting your kids say to, maybe not like a demo like I talked about in the first tip, but like getting, talk about how you are able to get your kids to sleep through the night or how you were able to get your baby to start nursing successfully, or how you were able to get your dog to learn how to lay down. Like walk them through these tips and tricks that you have for all these things that you were able to do in your life. You know, like maybe you were changed oil in your car for the first time. What was your tip for that? How are you able to do that? Um, you're really good at saving money and couponing. Do a video on your tips and tricks for that. Um, or planning a vacation. Anything. Anything that you are good at, people are going to be interested in. Um, you know, learning those tips and tricks for something that you are willing to share about. The fourth thing is a motivational video. And that's something that really gets people excited and going. People want to be motivated. People want to come to your social media page to feel motivated and empowered and ready to take on the world or their day or so, anything. 
So if you are good at motivating people and you feel like, you know, you had an amazing day and by sharing what happened in your day, you feel like it would motivate someone else to have an amazing day, by all means, you should be sharing that. That is an amazing thing to do in videos. And that especially is way more effective in videos than it is in spoken word. Because you can see the person, you can see their passion, you can see that they have this burning desire to share this motivation with you, to help you be motivated. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you, and you cannot do this on the Facebook Live feature, is um, sharing your screen and sharing a tutorial. So I do this sometimes on here, but it's really for people, like overall, if you have, are nervous to show your face and you're not ready to get on camera, that's fine. And this is where you can start. Um, I'm not nervous to get on camera, obviously, but I do do screen sharing because I think it can be super effective to teach people how to do things. So these are like screen share and tutorial features. A lot of apps will let you do this, share your screen. I personally think it's easier to do from the computer um, if you're recording a video. So you would just think of something like if you are awesome at, um, for me I did a tutorial on Streak, which is a CRM system within Gmail. And I showed you guys all how my Streak works. Or I showed you the hidden Facebook messages folder that I use my screen share for, because I want to show you where those things physically are click by click. And if someone is not ready to get on camera, that's a great place to start because you can't see the person who's actually presenting. You're just looking at their screen and you're listening to their voice. And it's a great way to start your video career, if you will, without having to dive all the way in and just be on camera. Because that can be really hard. It's really hard sometimes to be on camera. So I hope you guys found these tips helpful. If you did, um, please let me know, drop a comment below. And as always, on more tips on how to run your business online, check out JillianKaplan.com. Talk to you later. Bye.